Hello everyone, welcome back to a new tutorial and another free printable. You can find this printable over on my website which is www.funcraftstodoathome.com and to follow this tutorial all you need to do is go over to my website and print off the free design. And just quickly before I get started I just want to give you a heads up if you go to the very end of this video you will find details of another free printable that I have created but I didn't do a video to go with that but if you watch through to the end you will see details about that free printable there okay so let's jump into the pendant tutorial so with so many of us still in lockdown at the moment lots of us have got Amazon packaging laying around so I thought I would use some of mine as craft resources instead of putting it in the recycling bin. First you need to print out your design on 6x4 glossy photo paper and then once you've done that you need to cut three rectangles of card from Amazon packaging the same size as your image. And then once you've done that you need to take some PVA glue or Mod Podge whatever you've got in the house and you need to glue those three rectangles together. And then when you've done that, you need to put a layer of PVA glue or Mod Podge or whatever you're using over the whole thing, sides, front and back, and then put it on toothpick and stick it in a piece of florist oasis to dry. When it's dry, you can take some black tissue or, or whatever colour you want, I've used black, and cover the whole thing again in PVA glue and just stick your black tissue all over it, front, back, sides. I mean, I've chosen to, to do mine in a strip and just wind it round, but you can just put, you know, do just cover it however you, you want. And then give it a really good coat of PVA glue or Mod Podge. And once again, leave it on a toothpick in the Oasis to dry. So the next thing you need to do is, if you haven't already done this, you need to cut out your image and then I just take a black marker and colour the edges of mine so that when you've actually stuck it onto the tile you made the, Im the, the edge of the image just blends in And then take some more PVA or Mod Podge and stick the image onto the tile that you've made. And then, of course, you need to let the whole thing completely dry. And once it's dry, you can take some Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and do exactly what I'm doing here. I guess I should say here that Mod Podge doesn't pay me to use their products I use them because I really love the effects that you get from them now I let mine dry for 24 hours and this is the result now these ones haven't had um, any dimensional magic put on them yet but you will see at the end um, what they look like when I have put the glaze over the top so to make the bale so that you can actually hang the pendant on something all I've done is take strips of A4 black card I've conditioned them by putting PVA glue on the front and back and then I use the strips to make just um, beads that, that I use as bales to, to stick on the top with a glue gun 
And because the card was quite thick, you don't need you don't need the whole length for each bead, otherwise the beads are too fat. So there's two ways that you can make these bales. You can do it this way. Um, you're going to see me use my five millimeter bead rolling tool, which I I sell in my Etsy shop. And that obviously gives you a round bale that you can stick on the top. But this this other one I made with a popsicle stick, so it's more of a um, a flat kind of shape. And it's the same principle as as you use with the bead rolling tool, but you use a popsicle stick, as you will know from my past videos. I am a big fan. Of rolling beads with a popsicle stick. And you need some really good tacky glue to hold that card down. So there's mine and they're quite strong because I conditioned them with PVA glue and there are the finished pendants. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want to. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. But before I go, I just wanted to let you know, as I promised at the start, I have got a series of cupcake images that I have designed. They are also over on my craft website. You can find the link over there to where you can download them. And you can use these images for a variety of craft projects, scrapbooking, sticker making, card making, um, basically whatever you want to use them for. And altogether, I think there's around 17 images that you can use. And in this last shot, you can see how I've used one of the images for a greeting card. But as I said, you can use them for whatever you want. There are terms and conditions which you will find over on my website. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.